Hey y'all, it's Maya Loren back with another video. Oh my God, there's like a bird on the outside. I think it's, oh my God. I'm just gonna have to film the intro, sorry. Um, so <laughs> this stupid bird, oh my God. <gasps> Alrighty. <laughs> okay, so as I was saying, um, back with another video, but this one is a little bit of a different speed than the one. I'm back with another video, but this one is a little bit of a different speed than the ones that I've been putting on my channel. I think it was from, the, I think it was from the first day of Harvard Summer School video. Um, a lot of you guys wanted to see a Greeno dorm tour, so I'm gonna go ahead and give that to you guys. Uh, I am sweating up a whole storm because I had to turn off my fans to give you guys this video so that there wouldn't be a lot of background noise. But this bird is compensating for what the fans would have been doing, so. I'm gonna turn this fan back on one quick second. It's gonna be loud, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, Ugh, it feels so good. Anyways, there might be a bird in the background, but let's get straight into this video. Okay, so this is the view when you first walk in. Um, I just wanna apologize for the messy look of the fans now. Um, they do not have AC here and it is in the 90s. And it's humid and sticky and disgusting. Um, so I normally have all three fans going at maximum speed, but if that were the case, you would literally not be able to hear me. So <laughs> for the sake of this video, I'm gonna keep them off for a little bit, but best believe they're gonna be turned right back on when I'm done. All right, so let's start on this side of the room. I have my little mirror area thing, uh, which needs to be cleaned now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> I have like this little hook with uh, my Harvard University tote bag and my key. Um, and then we come over to my bed, uh, which I think is pretty cute. These decorations have gotten a little wonky. I'm actually leaving this week, um, so. Yeah, it's been up for a while. This room is about to be packed. That's why I'm filming this now. Um, and then under my bed, I have just a bunch of clothes because I think that under your bed is the best storage. Like there's dresses in the leftmost one, then there's tops, then there's crewnecks, sweatpants and workout stuff, skirts right here. I personally would definitely recommend using all of the space under your bed because there's not that much space across all dorms, um, really anywhere else in the room. And then I have my nightstand, but not all dorms have nightstands. Um, actually, the room next door, which I will show you guys in a bit, does not even have a nightstand. So I was really fortunate to have a bedside nightstand, but if you guys want one, you could probably get one for your room. I don't know how requests work. Got a little lamp again, <laughs> my two fans. Um, and then we have this closet here, which like I said, I'm about to move out. So don't judge me, it's really messy and looks a mess <laughs> so this is the closet um again i've already taken out most of the stuff off my hangers but this is actually an abnormally small closet and i don't know why it's the closet shared between the two rooms in this room which i find is absolutely insane like i don't understand how they expect two people to fit into this little closet um i already had enough trouble which is why i got those plastic bins so i definitely recommend them um, if you can yeah so that's the closet um and then we walk over to my desk area i think you guys have already seen this one in my other dorm tour um but i just have my desktop some writing utensils and then as you guys saw i basically put like marble paper under just like that so that i can make my desk cute because i don't want a brown desk like that and you can have a marble desk <laughs> So that's what I did. Um, and then I have my desktop. A lot of you guys in my previous um, dorm tour asked if the rooms come with desktops. Um, unfortunately, they don't. This was gifted to me about like five years ago and it still has some life in it. So I decided to bring it, um, but no, uh, the campus does not provide them. And then each person has their own bookshelf. And for the summer, I decided to use it <laughs> as like a shoe case but the problem is is like during the actual school year i definitely um need to use it and i'll show you guys why a little bit later in the video so i just have all of my shoes set up 
and then I just have like my decorations going on. Normally there's symmetry and there's two hats. That beige hat goes right there, but the command strip fell off. So, oh, hey guys. <laughs> um, and then I have like the area where I do my makeup and then that's just filled with clothes. And to give you some perspective, this is my hand. So it's like not that big. I wish I could show you guys. These are relatively skinny dressers. But like I said, there is in fact a second room, which I will show you guys. So here's the second room. It's essentially right now just turned into my storage room because I'm about to move out. And so I've been getting ahead. Um, but if you notice, the second room to this room has an emergency exit, two of them. So you're not allowed to enter or exit out of that door. So whoever is in this room, one has a smaller room because as you can see, like it's not big at all. And they can't even leave out their own door. They have to go through that one, um, which kind of sucks. This normally has a mattress, but my co-proctor was borrowing it. And then I got my own fridge because it's so expensive to rent from the school. Um, and then on top of here, I just have like my coffee and tea situation. And then again, this is the other dresser for the other person. I just have my suitcases because I'm about to leave. And then, like I said, um, this is the second bookshelf with like miscellaneous things, which is why during the actual school year, I cannot afford to have my shoes set up like that because um, I'm going to have to put like books and obviously a better, more pretty looking <laughs> bookshelf area it's very small it still has its two windows but they're very skinny windows in comparison to mine and it's just it's just unfair for some people i feel like um whereas this one as you can see it's like so much i don't know how to you can't really see from the perspective of camera but this room is a lot bigger in the beginning of the summer they put me and my co-proctor into these rooms and she literally complained she was like i am not going to be staying in a room with an emergency exit door like i'm not doing that and she was like um as a proctor like i should be able to have my own room anyways and she finessed as she should um to get like her own single which is why i've been blessed with two rooms this summer it's been so nice so yeah that was the room situation i'm gonna go ahead and show you what the bathroom situation is looking like so here is the restroom Okay, so upon walking in, we have a double sink because it is a shared bathroom. <laughs> um, and then we have this mirror. Um, and then this is the shower. It's a communal shower. Um, Liz and I just keep our stuff in here, but normally you cannot do this during the year because there's like a lot of people. Um, yeah, that's the shower. Um, a little bench for your stuff. And then there's like two hooks, which we keep a speaker on there, and then that's my towel. There's a shower area with a curtain, so this is how it looks like from the outside. And then there's like a second curtain. So there's like an area to do stuff if you need to. And then this is the toilet situation. Wow, so exciting. Um, and then me and Liz put this little caddy in here with like all of our hair products and stuff like that. So I would say definitely communicate with the people on your floor or if you have an in-suite bathroom, just communicate with your roommates because it's a lot easier to have all of your stuff on the inside and just easier to access than having to get your key, unlock the bathroom, bring all your products. Trust me, the amount of times that I've had to go back and forth because I forgot either this item or this item or this item is unmatched. So like you saw, um, Liz and I just put that in there and it's a lifesaver. But yeah, that is the bathroom. One thing that I actually forgot to mention is that when you have a shared bathroom like this one, um, Harvard maintenance actually comes and cleans it like every day. So it is really nice because you don't have to worry about the in-suite and like it being disgusting. But as some of you guys may have saw in my video a couple weeks ago, I did find a centipede living creature looking sea thing <laughs> in the bathroom. But regardless, um, they do come and clean it. So that is a perk of a communal bathroom. I'm on the third floor, so I have to go down three flights of stairs. But you know what, I'll honestly take it because for most dorms, the laundry and trash are not inside the building and they are for Greeno, which that's, I'm sorry, I'll take it. Okay, nice to meet you. So 
here's the laundry room. You have four washers, four dryers, and then you just do your situation here. Gotta pay $1.50 each one. And here's the trash. Yeah. But yeah, that marks the end of the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. As you guys probably saw, the situation in Greeno is significantly better. Like, I know that I scared some of y'all with my wig dorm tour, but I honestly truly believe that Wigglesworth is the worst dorm tour on Harvard's campus. It just goes up from there, so. Yeah, that was Greeno. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Again, if there's anything else that you'd like to see in the future, make sure to let me know. But until then, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week with another video. Bye, guys.